the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. But, you know, I, I wanted to shift, doing that. I want to shift a little bit on the fact is that we should be talking. I like the fact that Bishop start off with this, the discipling of somebody who received the word of God. Uh-huh. But, you, you, I think that's what we, we're lacking is, is, is that they, they received it. And I guess if you're talking about the stony ground, remember they said it, they, they, it gets scorched, right? The parable was that the the, the 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 pressures of this world, the thing oh, is what this right? And see, discipleship is 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 saying, look, I need to get you past those foundations. Oh, matter of fact, I also thought those stones was kind of like foundations, a little bit in that person's life. These are they're pillars, right? They got pillars that that is really sand, but they think it's foundation. Sell it. They can sell it. So discipleship is to show that look you're not complete with the foundation that you're using you're only complete with him you know what i mean mm -hmm. it, it's not about your it's not about your reputation it's not about whatever you think is important if i can't i got the discipleship that you must be one with him you become complete with him and i think that may be what we're lacking i'm saying that we need to do and our discipleship and ministry is to help somebody become one with Christ. There, there, there is something that's very important about that. Yeah. You have to. I think in order to uh, even cause them to aspire, you have to be one with Christ. You do. Yeah. You yourself have to be an example of what they should be becoming. So Come we on. should show ourselves to be Woo. disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ and manifesting that before them. Right. Now, I believe the discipleship is a need driven. As uh -huh. a person perceives the need, they are going to be more inclined to receive the word and even the growth that occurs as they, you know, as they're being transformed into that image. Come on. Um, but Come they on. have to have an image and, and they they grow to work. And, and, and for those of us who go before them and who have been molded a little bit more closer to Christ, than they might have been. Come and on. when I say that, I mean, dependent we will become more dependent on Christ. Yeah, yeah. We'll abide the vine a little closer. Yeah. We can represent that. And I think that's extremely important Woo. that we do that in everything. You know, if he says I came not to be served but to be a servant. Yes sir. Yes if sir. If I'm a leader then I should be serving my congregation. Come on, come I, on. I should be serving my family. I should be the first, the greater servant in my household. Right. I, right. If I'm going to disciple my children to Christ I have to be a servant in that house. Come Even though I'm the authority in that house, I still have to be the first servant. And those are little areas that we that we function in that may not seem extremely important initially, but everything that we're doing is a witness. Yes. To the person that we are trying to disciple. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what I think is, if you ever noticed that, and I think you've seen it, and Brother Asin is that in the world way, they try to they try to offend you you know when you talk about the world uh when you minister to some people that's not saved they they try to offend you they try to 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 get you off of your your demeanor of peace yes to 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 operate in the flesh because they're trying to go after the you know what you ever notice this when peace when people are talking about I'm sorry, bitch, I keep using your name, don't worry about it. <laughs> I just use it as a focal point. Is denying a self is that you can't offend me when you're trying to belittle me, label me, try to, you know, you see know what I'm saying? Trying to make you something and try to get you offended. So you get you get mad. Remember like when you when you was in the world? Remember how how things would do when you actually start fighting somebody? If they seem to disrespect you, you ever seen that? You don't remember that? Any of y'all? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, that's <clears throat> yeah. Uh, some of that's still alive right now. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. I know. But you know, I think, my fact, Bishop, I think that's where you really know how 
much you have progressed yeah. in, in the faith when some things that used to easily offend you no longer offend you. Does that make sense? Yes, yeah, it makes sense. a lot of sense. Uh, when you're okay. defined by God, man, then you arrive as far as self actualization is concerned. You, when you know who God, how you appear before God, you kind of discount Ooh. what people say. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I can care less what a man thinks of me. I mean, at, at this point, you know, it doesn't mean anything to me because it says that God before you, who can be against you? Where you but not to the point where. I should not care where I'm causing somebody to stumble, which I, I got to that point. <laughs> and, then, and then I was chasing for that. But uh, but a description of being a person, like, what did Paul say? Paul said, I don't who, no man can judge me, really. He said, I, I don't even judge myself. He, you know, he, he, said, <laughs> he got to that point where he, it was like, it's up to Christ over there that's working me, man. I mean, what they think about me, you know what I mean? And I got to do what the Lord tells me to do, regardless of how, what the outcome is. Come on now. Or the, or the perception of other people is. So I think that's, that's a place of self-actualization in a sense. Yeah. We say self-actualization. Go ahead, Bishop. <laughs> I think it's a very interesting observation. And it is one of the reasons why I wanted to move to doing CIT. Uh -huh. Close. Interesting how your whole line of thinking changes uh -huh. and your whole line of reasoning changes once you see a particular truth in scripture. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Amen. You, you, you see how this thing about wholeness, yes, sir, created for God, has now caused you to look at all other things. Uh -huh. in a whole different way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You, yes. Could, you could even now take that one truth and hold, up, hold it up against homosexuality and go, whoa. Yeah, yeah. Be that way It's important for us that when we look at scripture, to have, to have done the legwork, to have spent the time to invest it, the, the, the energy to, to, to obey your thirst, uh-huh yeah yeah did you say come from god talk with come once you got that truth of god yes sir. It's a profound impact on how you see everything else everything else and i think that's how christ did when he was tempted yeah so don't get mad at folks who thinking you can be saved to be homosexual and do all kinds of things uh-huh 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 see they don't understand that you can't they don't know that but see it's only that life yeah. That come. Yes. If you understand the, what it means to be whole, oh. anything that jeopardizes that wholeness, oh, come on, is a threat to your eternal destiny. Ooh. Come on. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. That's why we anything. preach Christ. Yes, that's sir. That's why we preach Christ. Yes, sir. You know, after this for homosexuality, we preach Christ. We preach Christ. You know, we preach not being a liar. We preach Christ. Come on, man. Without that. You gonna be a liar and a homosexual and or every more a, 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 a backbiter, all that, a drag, well, all of it, right? All of that, all yeah. of that comes with the territory. It's like you, you dead. <laughs> so yeah. you're dead. What are you gonna produce? I, I agree one hundred percent that we can't focus on the sin nature. Come on now. Uh, we have to focus on the answer. The answer, yeah, that. yeah. And in that is Woo. the love. Of that's going to shed abroad in their hearts that's going to break up that ground Come on. and allow god's word yes sir. And the holy spirit Come on to now. make the change. Come on. so that is the love right there is to to get them Come on. in a position to where they can renew their mind Come on. because they can't do it on their own no nope. we can't do it for them no nope. It takes Christ. It takes hearing and hearing by the word. Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. Let, so let, me, let me ask you guys this question of this period. So have, have you noticed that from the time you were born until you are able to reason and think and communicate with other humans? Have you noticed that 
everybody has this sense they grow into this with this sense of of what is right and what is wrong uh-huh uh-huh uh, how, how, how long have you had this sense of of right and wrong you know it's funny if you think about it even if if i take it myself to the observation of little children babies or, or at least toddlers they know when they did something wrong you know what i mean and they they do know when they did something wrong. they know they can you seen the little video the did toddler you, does yeah did you do that no <laughs> they're right in line they put up <laughs> <laughs> You see, you see, when you're not whole, uh huh, you, 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 that that thing that that discerns between tell the truth and don't <laughs> lie. <laughs> you see, you, you you break something precious in the house, uh -huh. and your parents are highly upset, <laughs> and you know thunder and lightning is coming. Yeah. And they start talking to people and they look you in the eyes and say, Did you break it? <laughs> <laughs> you, you got two voices talking to you and like, no, oh, yeah. I, I, I did it. I know I did it. <laughs> but at the same time, you're considering, well, I said I did it. Yeah, that flesh. That flesh is speaking loud. I am going to be beat unconscious, so I want to avoid this pain at all costs. Yes. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I have been put in this situation. Not only did I lie, I started crying. <laughs> <laughs> to try to add additional evidence to cover my trice. Just as guilty as I can be. Fake, <laughs> fake crying. She is screaming out of God, this boy, I didn't do it. But my daddy was smart enough to say, I know you, get you. go get me a switch. <laughs> but here's my thing. When you don't have God, that thing kind of grows into a sin consciousness. Conscious. Yeah. Yeah. And what God is trying, what God must work to do now once you come into the body of Christ, God has to work to bring you into a Christ consciousness Christ. yes it's called the go christ is in you come on and you gotta you gotta be alive that not only that that that, that christ is in you but that you are in christ come on mm. those two things are one and the same to that one is surprised that he's in you that's what jesus said i am in the father and the father is in me mm. Mm. And so, once you come into a Christ consciousness, you no longer look at, you don't think about things in terms of what you cannot do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You think about things in terms of what you can trust him to do. He do. And see, that's, the, that, that's my view when it comes down to living this life. See, I believe that we can live this life jam up to the teeth, but it's not a matter of you becoming perfect. It's not about you becoming perfect. Yeah. It's about your access to perfection. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, this is what Jesus is trying to pour out to us in the last verse in Matthew chapter five, when he said, be ye perfect, even as your father in heaven is perfect. Mm -hmm. What he's looking at is, I have come to grant you access to his perfection. Yes, perfection. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. What yes, you got to decide is how much of it you want. Come on now. Come on. And, 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 and what we could I better say is that it is impossible. Just like you said, anything. What what's the, he said was impossible is something you're saying. is, But it is impossible for perfection if I'm not connected to the wholeness. If I'm That's not, legit. I can say that access is my connection. I have access. I cannot be, I cannot get even think about being whole. I mean, perfect, but I'll be in a hole. But I'll be in a hole. That's true. That's true. That's true. You can't think about being holy. Can't be holy. Yeah. See, can't. your holiness is nothing more than your access to his holiness. Yes. Come on. Come on. Yes. And allow, him, like to, allow him 
his nature and his life to just do his thing. And when it does not thing, it is holy by nature. Yes. But at the same time, it's perfect by nature. Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. It's what by nature? Perfect. It's holy by nature, perfect by nature. Yes, sir. And righteous. Yes, sir. It's righteous by nature. Yes. Not by man. No, <laughs> and not by self. Not by, not self. by self. So all I'm saying is that if we understand, Peter said he has made us partakers. <laughs> of his divine nature, yes. He has made us partakers of the divine nature. And, and that is your escape from the corruption that is in the world through lust. Come yeah, on now. It. Hey, look, my fact, Bishop, when he said, did he say make us sit together with him in heavenly places? Yeah. I, I, listen, I guarantee you ain't no unholiness sitting there. Come on now. <laughs> I, I guarantee you ain't no unrighteousness sitting there. Come on. Come on. See, what he got to do is get your mind renewed now to who you really are. Who you are. In Christ. In Christ. Okay, that's so okay. See, if, if you can't holiness. think holiness, you can't have holiness. You can't come out. Come on. Well, yeah, hey, look. If you can't think righteousness, you can't have righteousness. Mm -hmm. If you can't think, turn the other cheek. You can't. You can't. You can't. So that's why I'm saying this thinking thing has everything to do. Everything to do it. Who you are. And I want in him completely. Think it is. Yeah, because you know, I think about even the other when you talk about the, the, the alcohol, let's use you because I mean, just a good example, right? That alcohol was the what was completing you, wasn't it? It, it, it wasn't, it, it didn't complete me because I always had to go back and get more of it. Exactly, <laughs> it could, see, Ben Dove said it could never, it never could. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I think of behind certain kinds of conduct and behavior now. And I, this is just me. I'm going on record to say this is my opinion. This is my opinion. <laughs> there are certain addictions that are demonic. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. They are. They definitely are. I know that's true. Yeah. Well, if you think about it, there are in scripture. There are lying spirits. Yeah. Yep. What we say in the scripture, right? He said, he said lying spirits. Yep. Yeah. Yep. When, yep. When, 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 when there was counsel and the need to deceive a certain king, the father asked, who will go for us and, mm -hmm. de and deceive him? And a lying spirit stepped forward and said, I will go Woo. and become a false prophet. Woo. Oh. Woo. Even Jeremiah did. <laughs> so. What we're calling stronghold may well be the op oppression and operation and working of demonic forces. Got to be, yeah. Has to be. It, even certain, see, even certain diseases. Yeah. That, that little boy. That little boy that was foaming at the mouth and throwing himself into the fire, they may say, well, he's just epileptic. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. He's an epileptic my butt. Uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a demon. That's a demon. Yeah. Yeah. And I ain't got but a few words for him. Shut up and come out. Well. Come out. <laughs> and you see, it is appears that God has left these kinds of proofs Mm. So you can know when you have aligned yourself rightly with him yep. and when you come up. Come on. And I think that's, see, we get impressed with these signs that follow them that believe. Yes, sir. I think what he's just saying is, if you really want to know when you're in right alignment, this is how, these are the kind of things that start evidencing themselves in your life. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. I agree. What we do is, we we, we 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 go after wanting to have the see self creep back in and we want to make a name for ourselves. Our brother McCann got the he got a healing ministry. <laughs> mm. got no healing ministry now. McCann's gotta be healed himself. Come on now. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come I could possibly be the author of anything that I'm deficient in myself. Come on, sir. 
Amen. I, 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 hold, I find my wholeness in him. How could I possibly have a healing ministry apart from him? You mm. can't. You can't. Because it's his spirit that causes you to be whole. Come on now. <laughs> so why do I want to take credit? If, if any, they can say you have access to. <laughs> but but the, the, the access, is, uh, I have the healer in me. Yeah. yeah. The healer. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think that, that, that from, that, that's really a good point. We yeah. go from being healed to being a healer. Because right. it's the healer that's working in us and through us. He working in us both to will, what's it, to will and to do. And to do. And so it's him working in us and to do it. Hey, but look, let's take it a little step closer. What what he really saying is, you are a a a uh, the gospel conduit. You're just a conduit. I'm gonna do better though. You you're preaching the the understanding that would you be made whole, and in that wholeness, you become healed. Yes. In that whole, you see what I'm saying is. Yeah, this, of course. Yeah. He's a minister of of, of, of teaching wholeness. It's being whole. It's it, it, what comes with whole. Come on. Healing, man. healing, deliverance, all of that stuff. Now, are you with but me? where does the whole come from? The whole comes from Christ. Come on you now. Have to, you have to get it. Come and on. Christ in you. Whole. Come yeah. on. So for being a, uh, what comes with wholeness, right? I, and I thank God for that. Oh, that conversation. They produce nothing that comes. You, yeah. can't, you can't produce holiness. Woo! Yeah. You can't be used to work holiness if you're incomplete. Woo! Look, I, look, I'm going to take this back now. Now, you got to be careful with it because I believe that God can use the unholy person. Mm -hmm. He does. To bring about healing in somebody else, holiness in somebody else. Because, yeah, it's, God, it's, because it's not them, it's the person receiving yeah. the holy. There's a person working through them. But see, in that process, you ain't a witness. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You ain't a living witness to the thing. Come on. Come on. See, the, the first order of business that you might become witnesses, that the thing might evidence itself in you, that you might become yes. whole. Come on. Yes. Come on. Come on. Because only then can you truly witness. Because if you go out there telling somebody, if Johnson go out there slapping drunk, telling somebody, look, man, you need to stop drinking. They'll look at him and say, man, what's Don't worry. <laughs> But you know it's really how funny. How you gonna stand in my face, sloppy drunk, and tell me I need to stop drinking? Yeah. And look, then this sound like that. <laughs> how you? I bought, I bought the moat that's in your eye. <laughs> Woo! Come yeah, on. The thing, the thing that was was that the people that I knew, that knew me at that state, when they saw me, then I didn't say nothing. <laughs> like you said, I was the witness. Wow. <laughs> they, they, they said, you, you drinking? And they would offer me drinks. Uh, thank you. Come and on. And that, that, um, that was a witness. I didn't really have to go, man, you know the Lord that delivered me from drinking. It was obvious that he had delivered me from drinking. It was drinking. Uh, uh, for itself. Yeah. And for I think itself. that that is, uh, when, we, when we use that word, when we quote that scripture that says, and you shall be witnesses unto me, I think we think more of what we're saying than who we are. Yeah. The evidence of his resurrection and his lordship and his ascension and his messiahship is us, not our conversation. Because our conversation can be counter to what we actually manifest in. But what we manifest is the true witness that Jesus got up from that grave and that he is the Messiah. Yes, sir. And that through the works that we're able to do, the, the lifestyles that we're living, the, the things that come out of our mouth, it's, it's, that is the true, it's, it's not just the conversation. I think the, the, the one thing that sticks in my mind is Paul said, the kingdom of God come not in word, but in power. Our. And when they saw the fact that I wasn't guzzling down that, you know, pints of liquor at a time, the power of God was made manifest. All I had to do is say, like, man, the Lord delivered me. Right. <laughs> was, that was it. That's my part. I'm through. Because they were like, man, how you get over that? I know you lying. I know you still drink. No, I ain't. I'm through, man. I'm finished with that. Jesus. But I have Jesus, Jesus, Jesus did. Jesus did. Jesus did. And, and, um, Bishop, before you before you get ready to go in the way, uh, I want to show you the uh, CITs that uh, uh, yes, Brother I'm Jackson good. did, and uh, I had mine last week anyway. And F, uh, Elder Johnson has his, and Brother Addison, I guess you do have yours. Yeah, I gave mine. I I said mine. I I can't you, you share it. Pardon. pardon? To put in word. I, yeah, I did put it in word. If you want me to to 
text it to you? I can text it. Text it to me so we can put it up there. Put it in the chat box so we can, uh, I'll post it. <clears throat> well, Bishop, here's the, uh, Brother Jackson did his before he left. He also put them up. One is his uh, uh, CIT and uh, two is his, his said, you know, you see, it reads for itself. Uh, is it number one or number, number one? Number one, and then number two is is Jesse thought. Yeah. Oh, God. So he said, God spread His word. Only those ready to receive His word produce spiritual fruit. This is uh, CIT. And then he said, just, a, just for a thought, is the good, is the ground spoken of in Mark 4, 1 through 9, a measure of a person's heart? That's a question. Yeah. So, but the CIT is the number one. God spreads his word. All of those ready to receive his word produce Jesus produced spiritual fruit. It's from his understanding of the uh, text. My, as you saw last week, I said first sower. I thought I, no, I thought I had it. I think I left it. That's not the one I had. I think it is. First sower had to me. Oh no, that's the that's the third one I had. The the real one I had was. Let me see where it's at. <laughs> let me go up here. I left. I put the wrong one up there. Uh, let's see. This this was this was my number one. God, I said it last week. God, the kingdom sows 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 God's word. The devil took from the wayside, but cannot on good fruitful ground. And I, I couldn't put he, so I just put cannot on good fruitful ground. The devil took from the wayside, but cannot on good fruitful ground. And, and that that's that is parallel to the fact that he can't do it. I put in there that two was the four areas of the ground in our hearts. Cause I was asking the question at the beginning, I don't know if y'all caught it, it was why so on on a bad ground? The wayside, right? Why why so? This is my question, Bishop was why why so on different ground? Why not just so on good ground? And the reason why is because you're the ground. You you got all those conditions, like I think Brother Adam was saying, those different phases of, of your life. You got different you got good ground in your heart, and you got bad ground. You got some stony places, you got some stones, uh, you got some thorns in you. Now that's that's a good question for Asher. Do y'all think it's is, is that, are we, are that, what do you think, Bishop? Could I just say a good farmer, you from Georgia, you actually raised up in a farm. I, I don't think, I don't think your dad had thorns in the garden. Did he? He, he didn't have no stones in there. He didn't have no thorns in there. Um, not, that, not that he knew of. Well, well, it's, well it's, but the fact is that, that whatever, that, that thing had a nice, perfect row of stuff. The corn was in a nice row, right? And when he planted, didn't he cover the ground up? He covered the seeds up, right? Or did he? I guess Bishop the Elder said there's some places you just throw stuff out. But I think. Well, go ahead. You know, you know it, it's it called broadcast. It doesn't matter what kind of uh, message you use, whether it's natural or, or mechanical. There's always places, where, for example, we grew up on a farm with tractors in the line of farm. There's always going to be some places where the ground is going to get packed by the weight of the tractor and seeds okay. going to fall. Those seeds are not going to grow. Okay. 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 